What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with a beginner guitar tutorial for Wonderwall by Oasis. If this video helps you out, hit that like and subscribe button, and the guitar that we're jamming on today is called a Faith Blood Moon Neptune. Guys, the first thing that you want to know to play Wonderwall on guitar is that in order to keep this song as accurate and beginner friendly as possible, we're going to capo up to second fret. The next thing that you want to know to play Wonderwall on guitar is the structure of this song. We're going to start with a verse, then go to pre-chorus, then chorus, then verse, pre-chorus, and then one more chorus to take us out of the song. And the last thing that you want to know before we dive into Wonderwall is the six chords that you need to play this song. The first one is E minor 7. The next one is G. The next one is D sus 4. The next one is A sus 4. The next one is D over F sharp. And the last one is C add 9. And I'll have chord charts for all those in the pinned comment below for those of you who need them. And with all that in mind, guys, let's dive into Wonderwall. Guys, Wonderwall is one of the all-time top acoustic guitar songs, and I'm really, really stoked to share it with y'all today. Anyways, here's Wonderwall. So, the first thing we're going to take a look at for Wonderwall is what we're playing for our verses. And this is the beginning of the song. It's the most iconic part of the song, the most recognizable part of the song. What we're going to have here is a chord progression and three different strum patterns. Our chord progression for our verses in Wonderwall is going to be E minor 7. G, D sus4, A sus4, repeated through all of our verses on Wonderwall. Now, like I said, we have three different strum patterns for that chord progression for our verses. That sounds intimidating, but let's walk through this chord by chord together. We we'll start with our E minor 7 here, and our first strum pattern we're going to have is for the non-starred chords, which is just that E minor 7. It's just going to be three big down strums. We're going to go down, 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 just like that. And we're on to our second chord. Our second chord is going to be a starred chord. We have two starred chords, the second and third chord. For our two single starred chords, we're going to go up, down, up, down, down, but a little faster. So more like up, down, up, down, down, about like that. And then we go to that third chord. The third chord is going to be a single starred chord as well, the D sus4 there. For that one, same thing. We're going to go up, down, up, down, down, just about like that. And then we're on to our last chord, the A sus4. For that one, Two stars there, this is, gets its own strum pattern. So we're gonna go up, 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 down, up, down, up. But a little faster, up, 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 down, up, down, up. For that last double star to A sus4. And that's the whole chord progression and strum pattern situation for the verses on Wonderwall. This is that most iconic part. It's probably what most of you guys are here to learn. And it's super fun and it's easier than it sounds. The strum pattern is a little bit funky, but it's really not that bad. So one more time, let's walk through that together and then we'll do some playthroughs here. Starting with our E minor seven, we've got down, 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 G, up, down, up, down, down, D sus4, up, down, up, down, down, A sus4, up, 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 down, up, down, up. Just about like that, but a little faster repeated through all the verses on Wonderwall. So with all that in mind, guys, a couple times through the verse chord progression with those three strum patterns will look about like this without me talking. The next thing that you want to know to play Wonderwall on guitar is what we're playing for our pre-choruses. Now, our pre-choruses are going to look really intimidating, and more than anything, it's just a lot to remember, but we're actually going to be using a lot of the same techniques that we used in our verse, so it's not going to be too crazy, just kind of a lot to remember. So we're going to break this up into two parts, because like I said, it is kind of a lot of information. First, let's take a look at that first part. Our first chord progression we need to know for our pre-choruses is going to be C add 9, D sus4, E minor 7, and E minor 7 again. We're going to repeat that chord progression two times for each pre-chorus at the beginning of each pre-chorus. And you'll notice there that we have some starred chords. And again, this is one of those situations where we're, we're going to have a non-starred strum pattern and then a starred strum pattern. So first, the non-starred chord strum pattern, starting with our C add 9. We'll walk through this chord by chord. We're going to go down, down, down for each of those non-starred chords. So that C add 9, and then the first E minor 7, which is the third chord. So from there, that C add 9, we got down, down, down. Then we go to D sus4. For our starred chords, we're going to go up, down, up, down, down, just like that. So that second chord there is going to get up, down, up, down, down. And then we'll go to that third chord, the E minor 7, the first E minor 7, which is not starred, so that one gets down, down, down. 
And then the second E minor 7, which is starred, will get up, down, up, down, down. Just like that. And that top progression right there, that first part, repeats two times before we move on to the next one. So a real quick walkthrough of all that together. We got down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down that one more time for a total of two times. And there we go to the second part of the pre-chorus, which looks a lot more intimidating than it is. All it really is is actually just a walk down. So we're gonna start with that same thing we just learned, the C add nine. We're gonna go down, 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 and then go to the D sus four, up, down, up, down, down. So all that is is the first half of that first part, that first chord progression that we learned for the pre-chorus. And then we're into this walk down here, which is this long series of chords. What we're going to do for each one of these chords here, we've got G, D over F sharp, E minor 7, back to G, and then we've got A sus 4 twice there at the end, which we'll get to in just a minute. So for all of those non-starred chords in that line, we're going to play down, down, up for each one of those chords, and it's going to kind of look like this. We're going to go down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, and then we get to that last little A sus 4 deal, which we're going to play two times through. For that one, we're going to go down, 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 up, down, up, down, down for each one of those. So a little full walkthrough of that second part is about like this. We're going to go C add 9. We got down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. Here's the walk down. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. Just about like that. And then that whole thing all together is just going to play once through for each chorus so like I said it's not super super complicated more than anything it's just a lot to remember so I know this seems like overkill maybe to some of you out there but let's do one full walkthrough of the pre-chorus all together before we do a playthrough without me talking we're gonna start here on the first line we've got C add nine we got down 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 D sus four up down up down down E minor seven down 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 up down up down down first line again down down up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. Second line, getting into the second part. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. Here's the walk down. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. And that'll take you out of the pre-chorus and into the chorus. So with all that in mind, guys, like I said, that only plays through once for each pre-chorus, so we're only going to play through it once together as well. But once all the way through that pre-chorus chord progression with all those strum patterns will look about like this without me talking. Finally, guys, we're going to get to the last thing that you need to know to play Wonderwall on guitar, which is also probably the easiest part of the song, which is the choruses. For the choruses, we're just going to have one chord progression and only two strum patterns to go along with it. Our chord progression for our choruses is going to be C add 9, E minor 7, G, and back to E minor 7. And like I said, guys, we have two strum patterns here, and they're both strum patterns we've used through the entire song. For all of our non-starred chords, we're going to do those three big down strums, down, down, down. And then for all of our starred chords, we're going to play up, down, up, down, down, just about like that. So walking through the chord progression, we've got C add 9, down, 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 E minor 7, up, down, up, down, down, G, down, 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 E minor 7, up, down, up, down. Nothing too crazy here, guys. Like I said, pretty much the easiest part of the song, all using stuff that we've already done throughout the song. So with all that in mind, guys, a couple times through the chorus chord progression with those two strum patterns will look about like this without me talking. And 
guys, that's everything you need to know to play Wonderwall on guitar. As always, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments down below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. And again, if this video helps you out, hit that subscribe button. I've got 900 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel. I usually try to post at least three to five new lessons every single week. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, there cannot be a more perfect channel for you to check out. Hit up my Instagram, at the Groovy Guitar Dude, if you want to see a little jam and play along of this song and a whole lot of other ones that I teach. Guys, Wonderwall is one of the most classic, timeless, acoustic guitar songs. It's one of those that just about everybody learns, and it's usually one of the first songs that anybody learns on acoustic guitar. It's certainly one of the first songs that I learned on acoustic guitar, and I've always wanted to teach a lesson for it, and I just was sitting around and realized, hey, I haven't taught Wonderwall. I need to just actually break that down and share it with you guys, because it's one that I think everybody should learn, even if you're just getting started on guitar, even if it's not your kind of music. It's just one of those songs you kind of need to learn, and I also am a big advocate of like learn the songs that you want to learn, but I don't know, Wonderwall is just one of those that I feel like anybody learning acoustic guitar, there's just so much good information and good kind of techniques that translate over to a lot of different songs that learning Wonderwall can help you learning other songs as well, like the alternating strum patterns, the different chord progressions, the walk down in the pre-chorus. There's just a lot there that can actually help you. If you work on this song, if you practice this song, it can help you learn other songs, even if Wonderwall isn't something that you're super into. So anyways, guys, I had a lot of fun teaching this super classic, timeless acoustic guitar song with you guys. I hope you guys have a lot of fun learning it, and I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see y'all soon.